Hello. Yes, so we are live now. Um, we're right. We're live now, and we're just going to wait for Mrs. Isioma to join us. Cheesy Che S C. Okay, so I have. I have added you, Restore House School, and just... Hello! Hello! Hello, how are <laughs> I'm you? I'm so excited. Yes, I'm good. Hello. I'm good to see you. That's very seamless. How Hello? Was I didn't hear you. Hello, can you hear oh, me? Oh, very fine. Okay, yes, I can hear you now. I can hear okay. you now. My day was very fine, thank you. What about yours? I had a good day, thank you. Okay, fantastic. I'm glad to know. So everyone, thanks for joining us. Ify Dima, Oge Green, um, I saw Comfort, you know, everyone. Um, blob about your welcome as well. So now I think we have a lot of things to talk about and we have a very short time. So I think we're just going to start. And hi, Ibe Osula, welcome. I see you. Um, so we're just going to start. And please, guys, if you have any questions, because on my list right now, I already have like 10 questions. So... If you have any questions, the earlier you put it, you know, the higher the chances of you um, getting them answered. So I would just like to start by asking you um, about your journey. I mean, you have been one fascinating person. You are the first person I saw in Nigeria actually doing real homeschooling. That's not the moi moi one, the real thing. <laughs> and I mean, today is just great how you know how far you've gone and all that so if you could tell us a bit about your story i know that you were working in the uk and all that what made you decide to do it and how has it been you know from then till now okay thank you thanks for having me dr mega um i you call it story but i call it adventure because it's been an adventure, <laughs> it's been okay. adventure because i didn't really start out as an educator I, I've mm. always been very passionate about marriages, passionate about children, mm. education, families. Mm. Um, but mm. I have a fourth degree yeah. in Greek economics, went ahead, trained to yeah. be a management accountant, and um, mm. had kids. 2009, we thought God wanted us to come back to Nigeria. So we started, my husband actually started coming back to Nigeria to look at schools and all of that. Mm -hmm. And um, the schools, most of them weren't any good. The ones that were good mm -hmm. were pretty expensive. There was a very nice yeah. one in Ogun State, very expensive. And we knew coming back to Nigeria, when coming back to any work, we were just coming back because mm -hmm. God wanted us to come back. Mm -hmm. And um, so it started mm -hmm. looking like we needed an alternative, really. It looked like mm -hmm. the kids would not be able to go to mainstream school. And my mm. pastor at that time, my pastor that relocated from the UK a couple of years ago, before us, mm. was actually homeschooling too. So that sort of gave us a bit of a bit more confidence. Mm. Then I must mm. also say that the year we relocated, 2012, the year before we relocated, I came up, I took um, voluntary redundancy from work and stayed home to just be with the kids because I thought it was getting all too much. I wanted to spend more time with the kids. So that one year before mm. relocation, I thought God was actually getting me ready for what was up ahead. Um, so it was mm. one year of enjoying myself with the kids, going for their school programs, picking them up from school. So when we relocated and had and decided we were going to homeschool, it, yeah. was, it was an option that was easy to access. So we talked about it, prayed about it, and started looking out for the options we had. We came across mm. a home, a structured home learning institution um, oh. online, mm. subscribed to that. So they gave us all the materials. They gave mm. us um, a structured timetable and schedule. And they wow. you're, going to, you're going to share that with us in a moment. Yes, they made life a lot, lot easier for us. Easier. And um, yeah. the more I employed homeschooling, the more I thought it was the right thing to do coming back to a well, I don't want to say foreign country, it's my home country, but we've been away for a long time. <laughs> We're coming back yeah. with kids and all that. So that's how we started. I had my 12-year-old, 10-year-old, then 5-year-old, and I homeschooled mm. three of them. That wow. was how wow. I got to that nature of homeschooling. 
and no regret whatsoever. I think it's one of the greatest things I've ever done with my life because um, mm. it made me discover who I really was. You know, it mm. made me discover who I really was. I never knew I was creative. Some of the things I found myself mm. doing, I discovered yeah. in staying home and homeschooling the kids. Mm. And it was full-time homeschooling. That's what you were saying. It was the real Macor. It was the full-time yeah. one. So I didn't take up a job. My hobby was working. And I stayed wow. home and just cool at home. Wow. But they're all grown wow. up now. The first one is 20. He's in university. The, wow. the second, so my second son is concluding his high school, that's secondary school. Then my little girl is 12. Mm -hmm. She's in um, secondary school. Too. Very soft. Wow. 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 <laughs> Very, very inspiring. And I actually remember when, you know, your son had to now go to the equivalent of SS3 finally in the US, in the UK, because you wanted him, of course, to go into the university in the UK. And on one of the days when you came to school, everybody wanted to see you. Like, where's his mom? Who is this yes, superwoman? Yes, like, because, that's yes. Not, that's a very important thing to think about when you're thinking about homeschooling. You want to think about yeah. the route you want to take. So for us, mm -hmm. our first son, he's always loved. He's one of those children that knows what he wanted right from the beginning. So he mm -hmm. says, Mom, Dad, I want uh -huh. to play basketball. I want to play soccer. Mm -hmm. He enjoys soccer. He enjoys basketball. I want to go to the States. I want to school in the States. Initially, mm -hmm. we weren't taking it serious. But the more we sort of, like, thought about it and prayed about it, we felt, you know what? Mm -hmm. You know what Bible says? Train up a child in the way they mm -hmm. should go. There is a natural mm -hmm. bend for every child. And we thought, yeah. if that is natural yeah. bend, we're going to just support him alone. So he has to sit and external exam, mm -hmm. which was a big test for me because the thing about homeschooling, it could be a very isolating when you are in an environment mm -hmm. where a lot of people are not homeschooling and people are like, yeah, yeah. how do you get what you're doing? How are you sure yeah. you're doing the right thing yeah. and all that? Okay, so having him see, he's part of the, um, it's called the independent school, um, independent school examination, um, I'll get it, let me get the details. Independent okay. school entrance exam for schools in the state, okay. and he did yeah. very well. So when the mm. when I took him to school, and the, everybody was like, "Is that the mom from Africa with the with the son that had a very high score?" And I was like, no. "Wow!" <laughs> so that, yeah, you know, homeschooling was not rubbish. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, and you know. Um, I remember when, you know, I even met you when that was just after you relocated and I had started homeschooling. And um, before then, I'd always been a fan of homeschooling, you know, because I am a student of Dr. James Dobson. He's a pediatrician and child psychologist. And for many years, he had done a lot of research and he made me to go and look at the research that actually shows that world over, children who are homeschooled properly have been found to do better when they now yeah. finally enter into mainstream school, maybe in university and all of that. They are found oftentimes to be natural leaders, you know, and all of that. I mean, of course, children have different personalities and all of that. In fact, today when I shared the flyer, someone helped me to share the flyer on another platform and someone was like, she's going to come because when she, she relocated to Canada and she kept meeting different kids that the homeschooled ones were just always different. You know, whether they were quiet, whether they were outspoken, you know, but that they just were intelligent and had a mind of their own, you know, they just had this strong mind. And, and that's something that I always say and I share with people that if there's one thing, you know, apart from God, one legacy you want to give to your children is that confidence, you know, in who they are, in their ability to conquer the world and to really do anything that they want to do and become anything that they want to become, you know. And your story has, has always encouraged me, though, by the time I saw you doing it, I didn't have the liver. <laughs> I didn't have the, I didn't have anything, you know, like I couldn't even think about daring to do it. I mean, you seem to know exactly what you were doing. And so it would brings me to the next question because now, yes, you did. You did. And I, I know now, I mean, having, you know, my kids are a bit more grown now and everything. So I know that, oh no, I know that to you, you felt like you were just winging it. But the truth is that you seem to, you know, you had a structured form and all of that. And I know that that platform you talked about helped, which we're going to talk about. But now, 
we are all stuck with homeschooling <laughs> to a large extent <laughs> world over yes we <laughs> so it's not it's not a matter of i want to i feel like i don't feel like and so and that's why we have you here today i would like you to begin by telling us practically um what are the things if you say okay the three major things that you will need you know for homeschooling to be a success for you for you to do it well you know um what would they be oh it's awesome someone have a goal have a goal you know you've got in everything in life you've got to have a goal what what do you i find is we are all like forced into homeschooling now because um of the mm. pandemic but I'll say to yeah. you as a parent, yeah. as a mom, as a dad, have set a goal. It sort of helps mm. guide you because homeschooling, there are some days you have great days. There are some days that are not very great. So you need something to drive you, to wake you up from your bed when you don't feel like waking up. So you want a mm. set goal. What do you want? For out of the homeschooling. For us, really, apart from the financial bit of it that we could not afford to put the, school, the kids in, in mainstream school, we also, the more we looked yeah. at it, we thought, wow, yeah. homeschooling has a great potential for you to infuse your personal um, curriculum. So it's a good place where you can put mm -hmm. in the God factor, you can teach really anything. For me, I thought things like money management, sex, um, you know, mm -hmm. just a lot of stuff, etiquette. I just banged in a lot of yeah. things. So the first thing we need to know, what do you want? What's the goal for the homeschooling? I wanted a holistic oh. education for the kids. I want to, I Absolutely. didn't just, I've never really been one that is just like math, English and all that. No, what's the point having all the great grades and you don't have soft yeah. skills, you're rude, you're not well yeah. behaved, so you eat stuff, you throw it all over the place. You sort of want well-behaved kids. And I must say, that was one thing. Everywhere we went to, people were like, what school do your kids go to? Because they, they yes. were stood out. They were different. Because it wasn't just math yeah. and English we were doing. We were training. I was teaching the little girls, mm -hmm. this is how to sit. You don't go out and sit with your legs open. Little, little things mm -hmm. that only when we were growing up were novel that probably parents yeah. now don't really pay attention to. So the yeah. first thing is having a goal of what you want. What route you want. I know most of the homeschooling taking place now really is short-term homeschooling. There are some parents that yeah. ask for this long-term one. For the long-term one, you want to think about what is the route in terms of, okay, do you want to homeschool them till they're in university? I don't think you want to. Mm -hmm. Probably some parents might have the guts to do that, but I always sort of mm -hmm. knew that, okay, so when they get to about um, year yeah. 10, that is SS1, yeah. we'll start looking for an exit route. So you want to think about mm. that. And for my first one, we thought, okay, it's America. So homeschooling is a big thing in America. So it's a natural progression. Yeah. So go. Yes. Another thing you want to also, I don't, I hate to say it, but sometimes I feel, for now, we don't have a choice. We've been thrown into it. Temperament. Not, I don't think everybody can homeschool. Because you sort of yeah. need the patience. Yeah. You need the, mm. you know, people look at me when they say, you have the temperament to homeschool. You are just calm, you are just <laughs> this, you are that. And I'm like, you know, that said, there are things we can also also learn. We learn our jobs as well. Mm. So there are also things mm. we can learn. So you sort of need to have the right temperament. Then you want to think about the content. Yeah. What are you going to mm. train? We chose, we, we relocated from the UK. And we wanted to do British mm -hmm. curriculum, but we thought they were in Nigeria. We didn't want them to be look sided. They are in Nigeria. They don't know anything about Nigeria, so we, we put yeah. in a bit of Nigerian curriculum. We're Christians, so loads of Bible <laughs> Bible studies and stuff. We put in there, and every yeah. other bits and pieces we wanted to chunk in there. So it gave us that mm -hmm. flexibility, really, to make mm -hmm. up our hybrid curriculum. So you want to think about the content. Mm -hmm. It's really, really key. What you want. Yeah. Your kids to learn. Yeah. So for the short term one, you want to think about what do my kids need to learn for this short term. I don't think the no. corona thing is going to be around for like forever. So probably by the end mm. of the year, maybe things will settle down. So you want to have a plan. What am mm. I going to? What's the plan? What's the plan for the rest of the year or something like that? Then you want to have an uh, like a fine place in your house. Okay, mm. so I'm not trying to say you yeah. go to a bigger house, make do with what you have. You just want to, even for yeah. kids and doing homework, I say to parents, don't do the homework in front of the TV. 
get a designated mm-hmm. place in your house where there is a table, there is a chair, bright light, where the kids will know this is mm-hmm. serious time and we're going to work. For us, we have a very mm-hmm. massive ante room. We used our ante room. We did it up and um, tables, chairs, and everything. We had a whiteboard and all of that. So it was like proper school for us. Mm-hmm. Then you also want to think about fun because um, fine, we are all locked in and all that. You don't want learning can be boring when there's no fun in it. It's just fine. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Think about recreation time. You know, do they have uh, bicycles they could play with, trampoline, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever constitutes fun apart from TV? Because when we think about fun, most parents think it's just sitting in front of the TV. Let them go outside, mm-hmm. get some TV mm-hmm. in the morning, you know, exercise. If you're living in an estate, they can stroll around the estate. We used to do that, you know, take the dog, yeah. go on strolls and all of that. So, um, mm-hmm. Then you, I also think you as a person too, that is going to be homeschooling, you need to sort of like have a mindset that is ready mm-hmm. to make the best out of it. Okay, like mm-hmm. for me, I knew my, my children's education was, the responsibility of the education was on me, and I wasn't going to mess around with it. So it, for yeah. me, it was serious business. It was serious business. And, and I say mm. to people, it's not, your your sort of learning is a lifelong skill. You're sort of coming alongside the kids to teach them how to learn effectively. Mm-hmm. So I, I want to really use the word facilitator. I used to call myself a facilitator because for my for my especially for the older kids, we did the mm-hmm. work together. So mom is not going to yeah. be doing all the research for you. know, they have to learn to do research, they have to learn to work independently. You understand? Absolutely. So you're coming along mm-hmm. as helping them. They the so much responsibility yeah. of learning is theirs. Yeah. So you're coming along as a guide. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those are the things mm-hmm. I would think about. Then less distractions, okay? For me, I think I went OTT mm-hmm. because I was doing it full time. I had to get helpers around the house because mm-hmm. I had to um, get somebody that could help us prepare meals and all that because I was doing it full time and I had three different ages, I had to focus yeah. on you. Yeah. So, all that the little distractions you get around, so you want to also think about that, or you plan your plan your time better, cook, and make sure everything is sort of like preserved, so, so all you're doing is warming, and you're, eating. you're not spending time doing all the cooking, you know, and time mm-hmm. wasting, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Just, <laughs> that's really great. I mean, some of the things you, you just said, I'll just like to, you know, harp on them a little bit. The one of getting like outsourcing the parts that you can outsource in this season. I've just said it so much, you know, to people that I know that, I mean, and it's tough now because it's a lockdown and it's not exactly the best time to get new staff. But if you already have like a living staff, you know, some, especially women, you know, have finally had to delegate certain things around the house. They just feel that they have to be on top of it every day, you know, day in, day out. And no, I mean, choose what's most important in your day and then let other things, you know, help. And then if you don't have a help, children actually can can, can help you. And I, I really love what you said about making your curriculum holistic. We are still going to break that down a bit because... Um, One thing I see for this COVID-19 season is that even if, yes, it's over and it passes, I hope we can get parents to sit down again for us to really own the training and the education of our children. Even if they are going to school, there are many things that will not be taught in school, just like the things you said, the soft skills, the etiquette, you know, and all of that to say how... How, how what do i was the, the output i want with my child like what what am i who am i raising you know and how do i want this child to be later in life and then based on that you begin to teach your child all those other things i wanted to say <laughs> yeah if you said her daughters have entered the kitchen fully <laughs> that's a good one oh, please <laughs> let them enter the, the kitchen you know um can you guys hear me can you hear me i i think um Mrs. Isioma's screen is freezing. Please just let me know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you still hear me? It's a good time to teach okay. the kids. You know, it's the way we have housekeepers and the kids okay. don't do anything. You know, so you want to stop mm. and let the kids make their beds. 
let them get mm, into the kitchen. Why they can't get into the kitchen every day, probably because they are in school. But you want them to do things around the house. I remember then after school, they clean up after themselves. So if you've made a mess in the school area, you clean it up. You make your bed. So school started at 8 o'clock. Mm. 8 o'clock, you've had your bath, you've um, made your bed, yeah. and you've had breakfast. Because by 8, mm -hmm. we are seated and ready for devotion. You understand? So because we don't want to also raise um, kids that are false. We don't want to raise kids mm -hmm. that don't have any of these skills. There's something I always say. Mm -hmm. We're training other mm -hmm. people's kids. Our own girls can't Absolutely. do anything. Yeah. Yes. 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 I also feel yes. this time of COVID thing is the time those mm. it might not even be math and English you should be teaching your kids now. It might just be the yes. thing, domestic things Absolutely. around the house, this house to clean, mm. this house to cook, this house to make your bed mm. and all of those. Mm -hmm. Those things you don't normally yeah. get around that. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, I'm here. It's just um Nepal did their thing. Don't worry, continue. Okay, <laughs> okay yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, the lights will soon come back on. Just go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. you 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 are so talking normally, about the things, yeah. Okay. The things you normally don't have time to 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 mm. teach the kids. You know, there's something I always say to people: the 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 role of the parents over the years has been relegated to schools mm. and churches. Mm. You know, and mm -hmm. I feel in I totally case, agree. It's just it's just mm -hmm. a call back for realignment mm. of family, for mom, for dad, mm. to take yeah. our responsibility back. Back so, so in our absolutely, of, yeah. of the children, yeah. or not, we are the so re responsible, we are fully mm. responsible for our kids. We need to take mm -hmm. it back. We need to begin to think, yeah. even if school resumes again, you need to begin to be yes. involved. With Let's them. do it differently. You know what we are yes. Doing? Be more engaged. Mm -hmm. Let's do it differently. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I, I really love that. You know, one, one, okay, there's one question. Um, I think we'll just save that. Uh -huh. Yes, okay, how did she get the scheme of work? Okay, she will share that with you. Um, you know, so, but the, the, there's, the, there's just one thing I, I, I like that you say and that's how that we need to take this thing back in our hands. Yes. And so <laughs> what about the dads? Yes, dads. And in fact, dads are supposed to be leading this. But I mean, in Africa, you know, so, but whoever, like, for example, temperament wise, you know, you said that thing about temperament and which is true. If you want to homeschool long term, like I, I, I find it hard, but again, you know, one thing I think this season has done for me is able to help me like open up myself and stop saying that I can't do some things or this is the way I am. I am the last person, in fact, myself and my elder sister were just laughing about it a few days ago. I was the baby of my house. I never took care of anybody's child. Like, I, 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 could, I couldn't really, I was not a kid lover. Do you get so? I mean, even before this whole COVID thing and you might get into early childhood development, and it was like, you, it was not me. Okay, so I also think that we should begin to open up our mind because now, I mean, we don't even, we, are, we, 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 are, we find ourselves here. Whether you are a kid person, you're not, whether you have the temperament or not. But I think that if we give ourselves the chance, this can actually be, um, be a great learning opportunity because that's it has been to me. Like I have seen myself growing in ways. I'm like, hey, is this me? I can't believe it. You know? And you see yeah. Yourself, and, and, and you see yourself doing yes. things that you never knew yes. you could do. Okay, you could do. I, I used to say to my husband, I during homeschooling, I had out of body experiences because I found myself mm. doing things that I thought, was that just me? Then yes. you know, the Holy Spirit helped in ways I cannot explain. You know, even in difficult corners, you just know what to do. You will just get an yes. inspiration. You yes. treat it like this, and it works. And yes. you, you feel you are like. <laughs> real yeah. out there yes. and, you know so let's never say never there's so much in our insight yeah. that there's so much mm -hmm. about us that we don't know that some yes. circumstances yes. and just being willing to explore you find that it mm -hmm. be a lot more than a lot a lot yeah a lot more. Sorry, it's the power holding company again. No problem. I, I'm sure you can hear me. Yes, a, a, a lot. Yeah. And I love the fact that you made your um your 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 own your own hybrid curriculum. 
I'd like you to talk about that a bit because someone has already even asked the question, where did you get um, certain stuff from? You know, so but I like it because one thing I found in creating my own in this season is that I, I'm a Christian and the Bible forms the basis and my principle generally for life and most of the things that I do. And I was able to put my the Bible as the center of, in a sense, of my curriculum of what I wanted to teach, what I wanted my children to know. Because again, I mean, the COVID season just really threw off, off balance. And in a great way, it gave us an opportunity I mean, children started to ask us questions and all of that. And as we began to spend time praying and doing a lot of things, it gave, a, you know, and getting the children to spend more time studying the Bible, committing scriptures to memory and all of that. And I just reminded myself that really, if there's one thing for me that I would like to give my children or live with my children, it will be that connection and, that, you know, relationship, personal relationship with God and the ability to be full of the word of God, so that even when no matter if life goes up and down, you know, they're stable. So how did you develop your own curriculum with that, with doing that and combining life skills, and um, and then, of course, the content, the, the main academic content? I mean, how did you even know, just like you were talking, bench, benchmarking against the whole world, that, oh, this was what they were supposed to know at what time? So at this time, please feel free to share with us, you know, resources or websites and stuff like that. Okay, so like I said to you, we subscribe to Structured Home Learning. You can research mm. it. It's purely British okay. curriculum. And that really gave okay. us the bedrock, structured really. Yeah. A structured okay. Home Learning. Um, I believe okay. there will be loads of better ones out there. This is like yes, right really now. Yeah. Well, mm. Uh, mm. because it came as a pack for each class. And in the pack, it came with the textbook. Um, yeah. Some teaching resources. Teaching re uh, teachers' resources are pretty mm -hmm. expensive, so we have mm -hmm. to invest in yeah. that. Okay, so because you want mm -hmm. to sort of like know what you're doing, especially probably, especially when you're not like a trained teacher, you want to sort of have a guide. Mm -hmm. So we invested yeah. in teaching resources. So the test book, then it came with a folder that covers the whole curriculum for each class and mm -hmm. breaks it down into weeks. Mm -hmm. So that was a good platform to start from. For you. So yeah. in yeah. that in that structured home learning, it had loads of windows that faces in the timetable. So all I mm -hmm. did, I we sat down and what do we want to add on for the kids? Music, mm. languages. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I, I threw in sex education right from um, when my baby was five. I just sort of staggered. Mm -hmm. I had individual classes for the older ones and the younger ones. Mm -hmm. We did money management and. You just name it. Any, anything the Lord lays in mommy's heart or anything I just feel called they need that to teach it. I threw wow. I threw it in. Mm. I threw it in. Mm. And you know and they just learn. So sometimes so some mm. mornings we listen to the news, we talk about what mm. we have. You so it was it was life learning. I must say for me as a person, I learned through the process. It was a learning process for me too because we were, yeah. I don't want to say we were making it up as we went along, supposedly, yeah. but we had the bedrock, the foundation of British curriculum. Yeah. We thought British curriculum was robust enough, okay, whether they were going mm -hmm. to the States or going to back to the UK to study, it covered it. Nigerian curriculum mm. can be a bit dry, but we added a bit of it to it because we didn't want them not to know about the history of Nigeria and all that. So we did all of that. Yeah. And I feel yeah. for every parent, really, you just you will have to just sit down and think about what is important mm. to you as a family. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for us, okay, so, so for us, lots of soft skills. Soft skills are a big thing for us. Keep being polite, yeah. keep respect, um, good behavior. You, you, I have some adults that can't use complete cutlery to eat. Yeah. Etiquette. Yeah. Eating. Yeah. Eating. Yeah. Food is falling out of their mouth and all of that. Mm. So we sort of, mm. those things make a lot to us and we sort of tune yeah. in. Big, big factor. Mm. God, God was a mm. big factor for us. So yeah. a lot of, we spent quite a bit of time on that. Reading books, mm. watching their time to have devotion just on the TV and just extended devotion. That's those are the liberties you have 
to homeschool. You know, nobody's telling you, oh, girl, yeah. there is enough, you know. You know, opportunities where you ask the children, oh, mom, I don't know what to do. But did you ask the Holy Spirit? Ask the Holy Spirit to mm-hmm. do so. Mm-hmm. You know, it was just a growing time for us as a yeah. family, growing spiritually and otherwise. So depending on mm-hmm. what is important to you, you add it on. We have the internet. There's just so much research out there. Yeah. Use, um, mm-hmm. Anna Academy was very useful for my older boys that were in yeah. secondary school. Yes. Anna Academy yeah. was found very useful. ISL was brilliant. We mm-hmm. subscribe to ISL. Mm-hmm. We use ISL a lot mm-hmm. for math. But the rest of it really, the books are very user-friendly. They are homeschooling books. So mm-hmm. it was easy to go mm-hmm. through it. For you to, and yeah. For the whole year. yeah. So, so when you buy the pack, you have all the resources for the whole year. So we had okay. all the resources okay. for the whole year. So any add-ons, I went online, got the add-ons, and, you know, apparently, yeah. in hindsight now, it was holistic, seeing how they yeah. turned out. Yes, exactly. How they turned out. I mean, I think that's the best part. When I was sharing it on the platform today, I said, look, I know this person personally. And I think the best part is that I know I've seen the product of her labor, you know, and um, the results and exactly how they turned out. At this point, I just want to say to everyone, because, yes, she's talking about um, the structured home learning, which was a British homeschooling support um, system. And they would have to send, you know, rules but just like she said today you would especially in this COVID-19 period ah in fact if you if you need any such platforms after we're done go to the link on my bio just click on it you would see home um homeschooling 101 resources there you are going to find i made a compilation of different don't worry anything fabric if you can hear me now when we're done just go to the uh, click on the link in my bio and you will find I made a compilation of different online platforms and resources, you know, that you can use for your children. I have done the work of telling you whether it was free or whether it was paid, what age group it's for, you know, and what's, what's their focus is. But right now, for me, just like she used structured home learning, I'm using Classroom Secrets, um, the code or UK right now. So it's just very similar, but this time the, the, the things are printables. So every week I print out the packets, you know, for week one, week two, week three, week four, for the different classes. And the beautiful thing, just like you said, it, it came with a book. This one also comes with um, the children, the, the parents' um, manual, like instructions. So for, for every year, so it's like for every um activity or every so it tells you okay this is how we arrive at this and this is what it's supposed to teach and this is how you can this is the answer and this is how you can help your child you know so that and it's it's completely free right now um i think i i saw even for the paid one is like four dollars something you know which is not too expensive but for this covid19 period it's been completely free you know um but there are all sorts of there's Khan academy on in that platform there's um um what's this other one that my kids like a lot um that one brain pop brain pop is there and of course super book for those of us that would like to teach our kids about so there are there are lots of them over 20 um twinkle is actually very nice too twinkle okay twinkle okay okay um okay that's called a few k uh it has loads of resources okay the code of uk thank you yeah Oh, wow. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Another thing that you'd find in the, if you subscribe to get those home, home learning, um, homeschooling 101 resources is the sample daily routine that we use, that I use. So now I'm going to bring you to that. <laughs> Mrs. Kute, you're going to talk about how to enforce, because a lot of people, especially for the young ones, they're like, they don't want to, how do I, how do I enforce my, uh, you know, a daily routine and stick oh, with no, it no, and no, get it to no, really no, work? No. Yes, yes. Okay, so, but I have my sample. Yeah, yeah. No, Slick Trift is Twinkle, not Swindle, Twinkle. T W I N K. Yeah, yeah, Twinkle. Okay. Star Mom, okay, you have it. It's rich. Thank you. All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I must say, um, I'm a sticker for, for routine. And routine. The parents yeah. I talk to, I tell them that apart from homeschooling or any of that, children. Mm thrive with routines. They actually hunger for routines. 
So it's for not routine, about yeah. eight all day, eight o'clock, mm. nine o'clock, and mom, you're not putting that child to bed. That child is tired. You will see them most yes. times they just fall asleep. So the main thing I would yeah. say, you're only going to struggle if you've not been in a routine before now. So if you yeah. have routine of meal times, set meal times, set bed times, set bath times, and all of that, which really for a mom and dad, it gives you a breather mm. because you've walked the whole day, you know, you want to put them in a routine and have some time for each mm. other and time for yourself. Okay, so routine mm. really, really helps me. So transitioning into homeschooling, it was like continuing, oh, we're going to be doing school at home. And school is mm. from eight to two, four for the older mm. kids. Okay, mm. so it was yeah. a known thing. It wasn't. Uh, they knew they were not going to school. They knew we we're going to stay at home and do school. Mm. And school mm -hmm. is going to be structured because I can't. I can't. Yeah. I can't work if it's not structured. It has to be structured. Mm -hmm. We have a timetable. We have an idea of what we want to do every day. And I'm, I'm not trying mm. to say some days when the time, uh, when it doesn't work, we almost want to get depressed. No. But yeah. we have that guide to guide us. A guide. So exactly. That's what it is. A guide. Mm. Mm. A guide. Yeah. Okay. So, mm. um, then also, yeah. I don't want to come across as a disciplinarian. During the day, I was Mrs. K. Wow. In the evening, I was mommy. Mommy. So wow. For the young, my youngest, she was five then. Yeah. She always wanted to want to, oh, mommy. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Wow. No. Mm. So I'm not like, serious. Mrs. Mm. K. So they used to call me Mrs. K. My eldest son was wow. giving me that. They would say, mom, are you still as ten as you were with <laughs> As we went to rock and we're homeschooling. So um, they knew the, they sort of knew the boundaries. I feel it's natural yeah. to raise that age to mm. have boundaries. This is school time, mm. okay? Mm. School is school. There's mm. time for everything. There's something I always say to them. Life is the mm. product of choices you make. So when you're playing mm. where you're supposed to be studying, you're going to have a reward for playing. Yes, a consequence, a natural consequence. consequence. A natural yes. consequence. Yes. So those were things yes. I used to say to them. I used to tell them about the story of the ant that was that does not have a mm. guide but knows what to yeah. do. So when it's time to play, we have fun. We used to have two breaks, 11 o'clock break. So we started with the devotion, 9 o'clock, we start reading. I'm, yeah. I'm very, I'm very, very particular about reading. So reading has to be done every yeah. day because we have lots of people yeah. that cannot read. So we read every yeah. day. Everybody reads. Okay, for all the kids, we're preparing them for public reading, public speech, and all of yeah. that. For the younger one, mm -hmm. I think also read, learning to read. So after reading, we just went through with the timetable. First, let lunch see lunchtime. After mm -hmm. lunch, they have about an hour of lunch. So you can have your lunch, rest. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to do, just be back at one thirty, two o'clock to do the afternoon mm. bit. Mm. So it was really, yeah. I don't want to say regimented, it was structured. So four it was structured. And I, yeah. I, I, always say, I always say we did a full circle, which I feel is an advantage for homeschooling. So you teach, yes. you teach, you, um, you assess, you give them work to do mm. to see how much they understand mm. what you taught them. And mm. you mark it, and when you mark it and they do their correction, mm. when, when you mark it and they get some wrong, you sort of mm -hmm. repeat again. You know, because mm. it's just a hard to do, we don't yeah. repeat. So, what was the mm. problem? What happened? Did you not understand it? Okay, what yeah. do you understand? What don't you understand? So, these are the things mm. you can do. You're homeschooling, that's your work. Okay, what mm. don't you understand? So, we Reteach or re-emphasize again. Then we'll do the full mm. circle. Then the child does the assessment again. And mm. at the end of the day, we have times where my boys, you don't finish your work, you stay there mm. to the work, you see? Wow. Yeah. Mm. It's, about, it's about finishing the task for the day. Do it and do it well. Whatsoever your hand finds to do, you do it with all of your heart. And I think it really helps them. Mm. 
you know, to, to be able to work independently, you know, so they Absolutely, can work yeah. independently and they knew and they knew yes. it was about doing a good job, doing it mm. and doing it properly. Mm. Those are things mm. we need to teach our kids. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You Absolutely. Do whatever your hand finds yeah. to do, you do it very well. Don't just do a shoddy job and throw it, throw mm. it off. Oh, mom, here you go. You're going to it. No, it ends happening. It ends happening. Mm. All mm. the practices with exactly. They are all looking forward to the weekends when they will have all their game stuff to play with. Just trust mommy will not yeah. give you your game if you've not done a good work during the week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. So where are we're, going out to yeah. play? You get the same goal. Mm. Which is a natural consequence. I mean, I'm an advocate of natural consequences because that's real life. That's what happens in real life. If you don't do what you need to do, where you need to do it, you will have to find some other time where you would rather be doing something else to have to make up for that. So, you know, that's, that's really uh, it. So just to say, I, I saw two questions that I, I'd like to quickly answer because we've already done 40 minutes. <laughs> so we'll have about 20 minutes. Yes, can you imagine that? <laughs> so we'll have about 20 minutes to go. And I, I think that you, we, we might have to bring you back, you know, to talk more about this. But the first thing was, um, someone was told, someone is asking, okay, how long? Okay, first of all, someone asked, you know, you'd like to have a sample of the routine. And like I said, if after this you go to my uh, Instagram handle at Dr. Megor, just um, there's a home, homeschool 101 resources. It has also a daily and a weekend, um, um, what's it called? Like daily routine. Like she said, it's supposed to be a guide. Okay. Children are designed to crave. They need it. It makes them feel safe. It makes them feel secure. A child should be able to know that this is what, you know, I need to do. Oh, someone says, yes, bring her back. Okay. I will. I will. <laughs> I'm sure she'll indulge us, <laughs> indulge us, you know, so that we don't spend more than one hour for this time. Um, so, but whatever you, you do, what works for you, because I'm also conscious of the fact that for, for some of these people here today, you are working. You might be working from home. Some of us have even resumed. And so you might not be able to do it the way she did it or the way I did it, but it's to give you a guide to work through. You have to create time where you have to oversee certain things. And I mean, if you have other people around, but the beautiful thing about structure is that for me, I mean, I don't have to do everything myself as well. I'm lucky to have some other people in the house who can help and support. But when you sit down yourself and you design the main, you know, what you want to do, you design these outlines, you design the routine and all of that, then it's easy for everybody to follow. And it's easy for you to also um, try to like help to check I'll and, you know, see and know what's going on. Yeah. Um, yes, I just want to encourage moms, especially don't, don't, beat yourself up okay so for me homeschooling was my job i didn't i didn't have any yeah. job so i did it that was yeah. full time work for me so for some moms that are working at home walk around what you can um tolerate so mm -hmm. if you know it's yeah. work evening yeah. or whatever exactly. time you have just steal time from every just just walk around your schedule Okay, mm. and really, mm. for well, maybe a mom like you, you're not looking to do it like for the long, long term. term. So it's just, yes. So it's just the, this COVID season. So you want to sort of like mm. mirror what you really want the kids to learn at this time. Mm. So it might be maybe during your lunch break or after work, one hour here, mm. one hour there. You know, learning, mm. learning really. You know, I find what you see is only when you sit on the table and you are like, yeah. okay, this is how to write ah. Not really. Mm. Everything, mm. I, I was saying to myself before I came on, I said, some of the skills that children need mm. are really in the family mm. unit. So in a family yeah. unit, you have your dad, yeah. mom, you have um, siblings, you learn all mm. of this, critical thinking, mm. collaboration, mm. all of it. You know, creativity, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, personal skills. You fall out as mm -hmm. family and you learn how to make up. Those are skills mm -hmm. that we need today. We are all learning yeah. how. So you might not be doing yeah. and all of that, but yeah. you are proactive teaching the children. Mm -hmm. So don't condemn mm -hmm. yourself. Do what and not do homeschooling stories would be the same. My pastor's wife mm -hmm. homeschooled too. 
Her story is not yeah. identical. We have similarities, but it's not identical to mine because we are all so different. Same thing with yeah. our children. There's something that yeah. offends a lot in Nigeria. Comparison. Is your child writing one to one million now? Is your child? Thank writing? you. There's just so much. There is just so much comparison. So yes. Yeah. Of children and families. Yeah. Competition. You know, mm. every mm. child has a natural base. And yeah. you look at the parents need to look for what is my mm. child's natural base? What, what are the gifts mm. and the talents that God has mm. put in this child? And God is expecting mm. that you will help him explore it and sharpen mm. it. Instead of you mm. trying to, that's why the days are saying, all our children will be doctors. All our children cannot be doctors. Cannot be. <laughs> Yes. All our children were not designed to be doctors. <laughs> yes. yes. You know, my second son is artistic. He's yeah. He has he has a lovely, lovely voice and he plays the guitar. Wow. He does not like sports. So even when we're homeschooling, mm. Joe, Joe, we go out. He does not want to go out. He just he's mm. a only boy. So what, begin to study yeah. your, your children. This season you are at home. Study your children. Mm -hmm. What is this gift mm -hmm. God has given to you? How can you better wow. support this child? Mm -hmm. That's so confusing. Mm -hmm. We don't have the same mm -hmm. destiny. As mm -hmm. women, we don't have the same destiny. You're doing an excellent yes. job, Dr. Mega. Some of the things you're doing, I can't do it. Thank you knew how specified I was when you said I should go on site. Oh, no, 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 no. So you know what I'm saying? We all have unique, yes. unique yeah. skills. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. I mean, that is just really great. And I mean, just to, you know how Nigerians will say loud it, you know, if there's one thing you guys live, live here with today, please, this crazy comparison, this pressure that wants to kill parents, you know, they're like, yeah, my child can run right from one to 1,000. My child, so, uh, so if I may use our pigeon, who that one, app, who he app, who he app, you can write for a hair. So when later in life, now look at all of us as adults. If I see you and I meet you, I'll say, good morning, good afternoon. My name is Mega. I started writing one to one thousand at age two. Shabby, is that how I like it? what? How, what difference? Please let us change because you find that even some educators even complain because many educators even know, for example, that giving homework and all those things does not give any extra edge to the child and the workload and all those things. But it's the parents. When you find a school that is even, is even okay, trying to make the know parents know. Be like, no, this one is doing this. They are doing this in this school. So please, can we stop it? Because that is even one reason that parents are feeling so much under pressure in this season. You know, some schools, I mean, I, I appreciate, and you know, you were one of the first people I called when this whole thing happened to see how you were doing it with everything because, I mean, fees for parents was such a challenge in this season. And so they were torn between, oh, um, do I, you know, so what the biggest fear, even when parents could not afford it, some parents have lost their own salaries in this period. Some parents have gotten a big, you know, pay cut and all of that. But the fear of my child will be left behind. That is what is the, like, I said, please, can you define what left behind means? And there was something I would like to, you know, <laughs> someone said the hydrocarbons I read in school, I can't find them. <laughs> you can't find them. Oh, God, you can't. I mean, you can't find them. Please keep in corner. Allow our time is almost off. <laughs> Help me concentrate. Yeah. So, so, but there was something you said I would like to harp on. One big thing that we should be doing in all of this for our kids is helping them, teaching them how to learn and developing in them a love of learning. Once you can do that successfully, then you're able to set your children up, just like she was saying, to even begin to chase learning by themselves. They want, they know how to research. If they need to know something, they know where to find it. They know how. They know how to, you know, they, they see a problem and they are thinking, how do I find a solution? You know, having that kind of mindset is so, so important, you know. And I'm, I'm just so glad that you harped on that. And if we could leave there with that. So for everyone... Don't be afraid of your children being left behind. I beg you in the name of God. So that if you're working right now 
and you don't have time to have resumed the work, you have to go to work, and then maybe your children are doing online learning, and then you now come, just like she said, you can say that, oh, this season, I want to teach my child soft skills. I want to help monitor, you know, this time I want to be very particular about it, making sure that they are respectful, they are courteous, they are kind to each other, you know, the way they relate to each other, the way they eat on the table, the way they greet, those things, and you begin to make sure many things that you and I know that on a good day when we're all running up and down like headless chicken are going to work and everything, we're not really paying attention to. We're hoping that church will do it. We're hoping that school will do it. No, no, sir, no, ma'am. It's our responsibility. It's our responsibility, and we need to put, you know, more effort in making sure that, you know, that gets done. So I'm, I'm really, really grateful. There are two questions that we have that I'd like you to take. Um, someone just asked, how long did you homeschool for? And um, how long was dedicated for each activity or subject? I mean, you, maybe this person would like to homeschool long term, you know. But, yeah. um, we homeschooled within the three kids for five years. Mm -hmm. So um, for five mm -hmm. years, we homeschooled wow. full time. And um, yeah. for on the timetable, it was about for the younger kids, because my little one was five then, you know, you just have mm -hmm. to make it interpret, you know, yes. for the children. Yes. And so yes. for the younger one, her periods weren't as long. So she had like 30 minute mm -hmm. periods, and all the kids yeah. had 40 to one hour. Period. Okay. You know, so like I said okay. earlier, we started at nine o'clock with reading. We did a day. Mm. Eleven o'clock was tea break. So they went up for like mm. fifteen twenty minutes. Back mm. again. Twelve thirty one lunch. Then they came back again, mm. and um, then in the evening we went out for a walk and like, mm. yeah, exactly, exactly. Thank you so very much. Teachers. We had teachers okay. coming in, so we had language teachers. So we're doing French okay. and yoga, and um, yes. so we had the music teacher, piano, and music guitar, teacher, yeah. and, uh, you know, mm. and all that. So you have to also like make space for that too, you know, for mm. the teachers. For the things you can teach, you sort of like stop on that and get teachers. To yeah, um, yeah. Hmm. Fantastic. Thank you so much, ma'am. Um, it's been lovely having you here. And someone has already said that you have to come back home. So me too. <laughs> Please, you have to come back after this week. Line up. Yeah. So maybe just for a Q and A, you know, something like that. Um, and I would just like to say, I mean, thank you for coming here. So for everyone, um, we are going to, I'm going to try to save this video on my IGTV. So if you didn't start, come here from the beginning, you want to watch it in full, or you want to, you know, send a message to somebody to be able to watch it in full, I will have it there um, for you to do that. Her, her own Instagram handle is also at Restore House School. I actually, um, it's on one of the posts, okay? And I think that's the next best thing, especially if you live in Lagos. You know, she had to, she just had to, to to finally put set up a school. I mean, because she was so good at it and what she did. So the next best thing, if you uh, you don't have the temperament for long-term homeschooling, you know, you might want to look at, at that. And I think you guys could, I mean, with your permission, Ma, I think people could send you direct messages to ask questions and further questions, right? Okay, okay. That's Thank fine. you so much. Yeah, so fine. the last, yeah, the last question I'll ask before you go is just generally, the challenges. So in this season, what were the challenges you had and how did you handle it? Especially, especially as yourself. I'd like you to talk a bit about self-care because I find that, you know, when I am not centered, <laughs> I'm stressed and, you know, just, you know, so how did you cope with that to make sure you were always able to be, I know it wasn't always, but, you know, in the frame of mind to be able to, yeah, teach. Um, homeschooling is hard work. I just, uh, to be very sincere, it's hard work. It's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you, you sort of, um, but it was really nice. I was doing it with my husband. Fine, he had to go to work. But we had yeah. time and some courses yeah. that were a bit over my and head. He when he comes back, wow, great. he would yeah. take and, you know, he would <laughs> take and all of that. So it's just yeah. creating a balance. And that's why I mm -hmm. say I'm, I'm in routine. I like routine. So... Yeah. When it's time, time for the kids to go to bed, you better go to bed so mommy can have her money time. You yeah. So when I say routine, that is what mm -hmm. I really mean because at the end of the day, if you don't have routine, you will be stressed mm -hmm. out because the time yeah. you are meant to be resting, the kids mm -hmm. will be rusty, running crazy mm -hmm. all over the place. 
So you want to mm. sort of have time when it's dinner time, let's sit on the table. We all eat mm. really very nice. We all eat yes. nice. Have a shower, evening devotion or whatever you need to do and mm. kids go to bed. Dad will be yeah. back from work. Dad and mom can have time. Then I as an individual who can have time. You know, when I, mm. I cut my head during that homeschooling time because at times I just felt there was just no time to do all the too much, too much, mm. too much. But um, mm. the, most, the, the greatest challenge I experienced homeschooling was really the look you got outside when you told people you were homeschooling. Wow. And I you imagine. Down there, homeschooling, what is that? And <laughs> it's, it's the part of um, the part it's, it's, the, it's what you have to pay for being choosing to be different. It's all common and yeah. glamorous now. But then it was like homeschooling. Is it that you yes. can't afford to send them to school? Or, <laughs> Or you can't find a job. What is the problem? And you know, oh people will look at you and feel you look so irresponsible. Why are you homeschooling? Yeah. Yeah. And so you, you have that. Then just the sheer volume of work, creating a balance. Yeah. But with time, the more I did, I did it for five years. There were days where, mm. you know, we show up. I always showed up. I thank God. I mm. always, whether I felt it or not. Mm. So my my kids on Wow. So my just do money session. Oh I'm like, God. okay, it's okay, everybody yeah. go. And all of that. Don't be too hard on yourself. I say to people, yeah. it's not rocket science. It's mm. not that true. There are some people that say that oh, they didn't go to school, nobody saw them, and they are, their destinies are They're very successful. So, yeah. 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 so yeah. Let's, um, let's understand that you do your bit. You always try mm. to do your bit. But the things mm. you're not up to it, as long as it's not every day you're not up to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Out. And find something, I mean, learn in another way. Yeah, and like what you said, incorporate fun. Go for a walk with them. Learn about the leaves and the trees. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. When you say homeschooling, people feel it's really, really cheap. A lot cheaper than paying millions and millions to school. But if you yeah. really want to make it robust, we did experiments. So we, we mm -hmm. sort of did, we, we sort of bought a lot of stuff to make it really robust. So we could yeah. sort of find the experiments in, in the house, mm -hmm. you know, whatever mm -hmm. the curriculum mm -hmm. was saying, we wanted to sort of like, so you're not just teaching paper teaching. We're in the 21st mm. century, you want to yeah. work your thoughts. So, yeah. at some point, you have to, doing it for a long while, at some point, you have to invest into it. Invest mm. some money into mm. buying supplies, yeah. supplies, yeah. experiments, and all of that. Um, Thank you so very much. We are very, very grateful and we look forward to having you back here again. Someone said, Oh my God, this lady is a superwoman. <laughs> Thank you. So, <laughs> guys, don't forget tomorrow. This is a series. So, tomorrow by 8 p.m., we're going to have someone else here. We're talking about protecting your kids online. That is a big issue now with all our kids having to be on their devices. Okay. So, yeah. So, follow me if you're not following me already. Follow Restore House School and um, just keep showing up. I love that. Please keep showing up, whatever you do. And don't be too hard on yourself. Leave a little and just enjoy. Take each day one day at a time. Bye. Enjoy the children also. Bye-bye. Yes, enjoy the children. <laughs> I hear enjoy this face passing quickly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much, guys. Bye -bye. Have a good All right. Bye -bye. Thank you. All right. Thanks.